Hello viewers all over the world, my esteemed viewers in the YouTube, I'm also on Facebook, Alexander Ukwayo. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and here I have a gift for you, the word of God, in Matthew 13, verse 23, let me pray for you so that God gives you the grace to understand it. Lord Jesus Christ, I present you a word which is food for the spirit, for my viewers and my church members, whichever country they are, may it be America, may it be Indian, may it be Brazil, let me start well, America, Brazil, India, Asian countries. I see you in my YouTube, you are viewing me so much. May God bless you. Kenyans, Tanzania, Congo, Uganda, and whichever country you are in, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you to understand this. Lord, Lord God, in Jesus Christ's name, I present the viewer of YouTube into your mighty hands. Bless them as they keep subscribing my channel. To promote the work of God which you started in me in 2 Corinthians chapter chapter 8 verse 10 to 15 and I are privileged to share with them the secret in Matthew 13 verse 23 please let the Holy Spirit lead them into the truth and shine a light in their life and in, in their spiritual life especially those who depend on this word the Bible which is you Jesus Christ John 1 1 I bless my viewers with whatever knowledge I have and I pray for the Holy Spirit to lead me to tell them the truth about it. In Jesus' name, Petrus and believing. Amen, amen, amen. Matthew 13. From verse 18 to 23. So listen to the meaning of the story about the farmer. This talks about, it is a parable or a story about the seed. What about the seed that fell on the path? That is like the people who hear the word, their teaching, I'm the word of God, but do not understand it. The evil one comes and takes away what was planted in their hearts. And what about the seed that fell on rocky grounds? That is the people who hear the teaching and quickly gladly accept it but they do not let the teaching go deep into into their lives they keep it only short time and soon as trouble or persecution comes because of their teachings they accept it they give up and what about the seed that fell among the thorny weeds that is like the people who hear their teaching but the worries about this life and love for money stops it from growing so it does not produce a crop in their lives but what about the seed that fell on the ground that is like the people who hear the teachings and understand understand it they grow and produce a good crop sometimes a hundred times more, sometimes 60 times more, and sometimes 30 times more. May God give you understanding of this word. So, getting a reward from understanding the word of God. Peter someday asked, what can we gain from stopping to fish as our daily activity, which answers living? to go and feed our families and follow you, Jesus. Jesus answered, you will get 100% and everlasting life. So it means following Jesus, you get everything you need. But in this phrase, Matthew 13, from verse 18 to 23, it talks about seed. Those who, who do not understand about seed, seed offering. So, for example, you need a motorbike worth 100,000 Kenyan shillings. 
you take a hundred thousand Kenyan shillings, you divide by a hundred because he said some seed they grow hundred times more. So you divide by hundred Kenyan shillings. The product you get is a seed. You go to the altar, give a, a living church, give it to the, to, give it to God, then ask the priest to pray over it. Tell him what you need. If it's a motorbike, if it's a marriage which will hold a wedding, costing two hundred thousand, divide it by hundred, by hundred, or you divide it by sixty, or you divide it. You divide it by 30 times. Those who understand very well the word of God can divide it by 100. Those who understand a little bit will divide it by 60. Those who understand more, more or less, then they divide it by 30. The product you get is what you put in your envelope, go to your church or to a living church. That is a true gospel there, no thieves. No con, not those who not open the church because of money, and tell them what you need. If it's marriage, if it's a vehicle, if it's a house, whatever you need to buy, and tell them you brought a seed. It's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't <coughs> really matter if you tell them the amount you put in the envelope. Just write what you want God to do for you this year. This is July. There is. 16th, before July ends or before the year ends, write what you need God to do for you. Put it inside this book, Matthew 13, verse 23. Then read it. Make sure you understand how I am saying. If you don't get it clearly, keep playing this video back and back again until you understand. Then whatever you need in this world, you can get if it is a marriage, you can get because there are some weddings cost, costing more than 100k. You can go and ask them. They will tell you how much it cost for a wedding. Even the dowry, if they told you the amount, divide it by 100 times, if you understand the word, 60 or 30. Then take it to the priest. You'll get the dowry. The marriage, you'll get the sum, then divide it. You get to the envelope. Take it to the altar, a living church. Or you can even come to my church. Geop, Gibeo Ministry International, Kwanchenga, between AIC Bethany and St. James Academy. Just take a, a bus or a matatu from town, then a light from Kware towards Pipeline. Take a motorbike to AIC Bethany. When you're reaching there, call 0741. 26 75 04 and don't waste your time if you come not understanding this or you come 50 50 just come decided make sure you understand this video then you do that because a prophet is your prophet that is in second chronicles 2020 have faith in god you will be strong diligent nothing can shake you not even false prophets or false teachers and you'll know the false and the truth, the true ones. So, if you, you, you have faith in God, you'll be strong. If you have faith in his prophets, you'll be successful. Second Chronicles 2020. So, if you have a church and you believe in it, do it in that church. If you don't have a church and you wonder where you can do that, come and do it to my church. That will help a lot. I need to buy church instruments. It will go to buy church instruments. And that will go to the pocket of God, not my pocket. So it will return to you 100%. The number is 254-741-267504. Let me repeat the last time. 254, that's code number of Kenya. 741-267504. You find me, I can explain more about this word. Then you come with your seat. After you have calculated, if you understand it very well, by 100. Divide it by 100. If you have understood it a little, by 60. By that. If you are deep in Christianity, by 100. If you are not deep in Christianity, by 60. If you are not very deep in Christianity, 30. Divide it by that. Then whatever you bring, 
it will have, it will offer you what you need if you have gone and inquired this vehicle is how much this motorbike is how much this plot of land is how much and this whatever you need may it be dowry may it be the cost of wedding may it be you want to buy church instruments i usually minister to church church pastors who own their churches i usually minister to um, bishops apostles and they see the hand of god another bishop got a job in america in a place called poland 200000 shillings per month after i ministered to him even how to get there god led me to minister to him and his wife was <coughs> privileged to bring her husband to my church that's when i prophesied about america then it came to pass after that from that money they bought a plot in Siokimau, Kenya, a plot in a very industrious place. So you believe the word of God, you come and locate me, the Holy Spirit will lead you. Whatever you will bring as a seed to get what you want, it will also helping, it will also be helping me to get church instruments. That's what I am craving for, church instruments. And I also uh, need to buy a church land. I usually sacrifice for the church most, not for my needs. And I'm not judging any other person. But this is the truth. Calculate it. And before the end of this year, write which car you want. You can go even to Facebook or to any magazine and get a vehicle you like or a motorbike or whatever. The picture. Write your name there. Put in this book and come with your seed. If you are very far, you can send it through M-Pesa. That number I've given you, 254-741-7504. When it reaches me, write me a text, tell me what it is for, if it is for a motorbike or a vehicle or a wedding. I will write back to you on YouTube, and then I will, I'll give you more guidance. It's not complicated. Whether guidance or not, just put your name on that vehicle, if it's a magazine. If it is in Facebook, download the picture, go uh, produce it from a uh, studio, uh, cyber. It's only 20 bob in Kenya. Then, if it's a vehicle, write your name on that picture from cyber. If it's a plot, download it from wherever it is, or go and camera it. Go and photograph it. Take a photo. Then, go to the cyber, develop it, write your name on that, and how much it is costing. Divide it by a hundred if you are deep into Christianity. If you are a little bit Christianity, 60. If you are less, very little in Christianity, by that, come and see me. And you will see, like my brother enjoyed going to US. Other two people were healed of AIDS. Some little princess came without school fees for course. And out of nowhere, somebody sponsored her, my very dearest spiritual daughter. Many, uh, like today on church, in the church, I failed to take photos because I don't have a camera. But another girl, Form 3, I prayed for her, and God has given her bursary. She's scattered for school fees. She can finish school now. She's, we are still in, in form uh, 2023, 20, form 3, but they have paid even up to form 4, term 1, bursary. Another one came without knowing anything in school, and I prayed for the books. She's called Felistas, and then she went and got A in mathematics, form 3. That is a daughter to our organizing secretary, Felis Tambide, from AA, around the pipeline, Kenya. My children, no matter how long they, they no matter the, the class, all of them they get number one, number one, number one, number one. So I bless you all. Let me pray for you.
to understand this, be understanding the word of God. Pray for it before you read it or before you hear it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, bless my viewers. Let this produce fruit in their life. Let them never pray and never see anything. Let them be getting what they, what they, they want. Because you said we ask anything in your name and you'll do it. John 14, 14. And this is how to exercise our faith. John 14, 12. Then it will grow. Our faith will grow to 100%. So dear God, in John 14, 12, this is how I'm exercising my faith and their faith. Faith without action is dead. James 2, 18 to 24 or 26. Jo jo um, James 2, 18 to 24. Faith without action is dead. Faith is what you believe here, what I'm saying. Action is what you bring according to what you have heard and what you want to get. That is works. Works is what you wage, your wages are. You bring them. According to your calculation, you get what you want. So dear God, let this word find a soil in their heart and grow and bear fruits. I want more testimonies on my YouTube comment section in Jesus Christ's name. You can even give me your number. I can call you in Jesus Christ's name. Or you can visit my church. They were Zungu, visit my church. They were Indi, the Brazilians, they were Uganda, they were Tanzania, they were my fellow Kenyans. Come to my church and experience the special touch of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the angels who bring blessing to your life be with you and guard those blessings. Maintain them, never lose them. May your marriages work. May your businesses work. May you never lack money to get what you need. It is in Ecclesiastes 10 verse 19. Without money. But it says, money answers everything. So you get the money that will answer you all your questions. In Jesus Christ's name, Ecclesiastes 10 19. I pray to us and believe you. Amen, amen. Good night, my fellow viewers. Let us be meeting here at around 9 p.m. Daily, God willing. God bless you. I leave you with a, a, a verse of the day. This is my favorite verse. John 10, 28. I have hold them with my right hand. Tell them I have given them everlasting life. And nothing will snatch them from my hands. I like that book. God is holding my hand. Let him hold your hand too. In Jesus Christ's name. And your children and your family members and your dear friends. And even your in-laws. And your country. God bless you. I bless you. I'm Apostle Alexander Okwayo Omuiza, founder of.